Hello everybody. So I thought I'd just do a very quick video. This is just an admin video, no flying. Um, so you'll know I've had some issues with some of my scenery that keeps popping in and out of existence. I fixed it and it was fine and then all of a sudden it broke again. Um, yeah, I, I, I found the culprit, or at least what I'm 95% certain is the culprit because it's uh, following a similar theme as what I did last time to fix it. Um, and it's the order that scenery is prioritized, loaded in, uh, inside FSX. Now, I don't know if this promulgates to um, F uh, P3D as well. Um, X-Plane, I have no idea. It's a long time since I pl played X-Plane. And that would have been X-Plane 10 anyway. So, um, yeah. You can go into FSX and you can go into options and the scenery configuration, I don't think it's called that, a scenery library or something it's called, and you can move things around. And the interface, although it looks pretty, is quite clunky. And you can't, yeah. This is an easy way of doing it. There's a free little program you can download online, Scenery Config Editor, nicely named, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, I've got version 1.1.9. I don't know if there's a later one. I've just had this for donkey's years and just stuck with it. Um, and all it does is it just shows you all your sceneries that you've got as per what's in the scenery.config file, uh, which is in C program data, Microsoft FSX. Um, so yeah, that, that can be a bit of a bugger to find, but it, it just knows that, so that's fine. So this is what that file currently says, but in a nice, you know, thing. Appreciate if you're on a mobile device, this is really, really small. But each one of these entries is a piece of scenery. Now, right at the bottom, we've got FSX default, default terrain, default scenery, and then you've got 0000, 000, 0001, yada, 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 up to... Uh, 007 and then it skips to 0100 and so on and so forth those are all the defaults uh all the way up to so we've got scenery global there's a few cities in there as well all the way up to add-on scenery now this is what what you used to do uh back in the days you would stick all your add-on scenery into the add-on scenery folder in the fsx uh, route. Um, that's now slightly changed if you're on Steam Edition, but it's it's no yeah it doesn't actually matter too too much where you put the files now. Um, but anyway, these should always be at the bottom of the list, which means, in, well, in my head, it means they're first to load, and then anything above it takes priority and gets loaded over the top of it. And if it conflicts, then the one higher up the list is the one that actually exists. The one lower down just gets overwritten. Uh, so there's a couple of Orbex. FTX Trees is down there because, yeah, if you've got nothing better to use, then use FTX Trees. Uh, then we've got the UK2000 Common Library. Uh, UK 2000, Heathrow, Manchester, East Mid, so on and so forth. Um, these are airports in Norway, I think. Uh, might not be, can't quite remember. Gibraltar, I think it was Aerosoft. Um, and then Orbex's global libraries. Now, each time you run FTX Central or Orbex Central, or the, whatever they've renamed it to now, of that thing, it reorders where it puts its stuff. Now, there is an option in um, FTX Central to change what it comes after, but for some reason, you know, it'll work once, and the next time you go in, it just resets it and dumps them all on the top. So what was happening at Heathrow that we saw yesterday and we've seen previously is Heathrow uh, UK 2000s all the way down here, and clearly something in FTX England, I would is is going to be my guess, is then coming over the top and putting its own mesh, or, you know, one of these over the top of it, and then we've got you know two meshes, Z fighting, and that's why we ended up bouncing. 
um, collision meshes effectively, I guess. So what you want to do is multiple ways of doing it. Just to sort of prove the point, you can just select all of FTX and then uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, you can just disable them. There we go. So this, you've not deleted FTX or anything. You've just told FSX that don't load this. Now, nothing's going to happen at the moment until you save the file. So you save as, and then you overwrite your original scenery config file in here, like that. And you need to do that each time you make a change. Now, the other way of doing it, and you can, and, and if you've just randomly dragged and dropped stuff off um, Symviation or, or wherever into your FSX root, you can actually generate from directory, and that will actually search um, your folders, your, dire your directories or whatever. Um, and you can, there's various little fixes you can do in here as well that I do periodically. The easy fix, though, is you select all the ones you want, and I'm just going to drag them below any airports that I've got. Because if I've got an airport scenery, I want that to be the thing that gets loaded and that mesh to be the one that's the proper one. And then as soon as you go outside the boundaries of that, then, yeah, fine, use the Orbex ones. Not a problem. So I'm just going to drag it all the way down here. the doink like that. Now, you'll see that that's done some hawky borkiness. So I'm just going to manually keep chugging it up until I get to roughly where I want to be. It's going to be about there. You can also use the raise and lower, and it just nudges it by one. So now all my Orbex is here, it's still all there, still all enabled. It's the first thing after the FSX scenery and trees. And then we've got all my airport scenery. And that's the sort of logical progression you actually want to follow. You want all your proper airports at the top. Then you want your enhancements. And then you want your defaults in that sort of order. Uh, I don't need UK 2000 East Mids free anymore because I bought the thing. I bought the thing with the thing. Um, am I still on Gatwick free? Holy moly, I am. Well, that's how good the UK 2000 Gatwick free is. I didn't realise I was even on it. I thought I was on the proper one. Oh, well, there's a present to myself at some point. And the order of these largely doesn't matter because they're airports they're not going to collide because they're nowhere near each other so you know even though i've got uk 2000 uh, gatwick all the way down here and um, gibraltar up here well because they're not geographically net you know on top of each other they shouldn't collide um the only slight odd one there is the uk 2000 common library which as far as I'm aware, it doesn't matter where you have it, as long as it is below all your UK 2000 stuff. So you could have a nice order where you've got all your common libraries at the bottom. Um, as far as I'm aware, that, that wouldn't make a jot of difference, so I'm not going to bother. Um, you can see you get long file names like this. Um, we can just normalise that. A doink. Problem solved. Um, you can also make groups. So, you know, if, if, you've, uh, if you get all your... Your airports, for example, you can then make a group out of them. And then you don't have to drag and drop loads of things like this. You can actually just prioritize the groups effectively. Um, at one point, that's what I did do. And then sort of uh, it lost a bit of love from me. So not been touched for a little while. Uh, I'll put that up there. There's the airports of Norway. So that's all that. So we'll see if that fixes it. And um, ah, right, if you just do save, it will save it as a new file. Now FSX won't find that new scenery.config. You can hopefully just see at the top there. So you need to do a save as and overwrite the original file. Now there is another one if you're on uh, Steam Edition. If you just drop back a folder. There is FSX SE which has a scenery.config. I don't know which one is actually the important one there, so I just overwrite both, and that seems to work. But yeah, just something to be aware of. If you've got FTX, 
just be aware that sometimes it reorders your, your scenery.config. And next time you load up FSX, it will then take a little bit longer because it's going to see, oh, I need to compile the scenery library, and you get a little progress bar and stuff. We'll see if that fixes it. We'll do a flight later on, and uh, fingers crossed for good things. See you later.